Coming up on this episode of Design to the Nines, do you have a screen on a screened in porch or a screened in pool cage that's in desperate need of repair? Have you gotten estimates on it? If you have, then you'll know just how expensive it can be. Well, on this episode, I'm going to show you how to do it yourself, and I've got some special tools that will make the job a million times easier. If that sounds good to you, stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Design to the Nines. I'm Natalie Callahan and if this is the first time we're meeting, I'm so glad to make your acquaintance. If you like learning about DIY, interior design, and really all things home related, then I'd ask you to consider subscribing to my channel below and turning the notifications on because I bring you weekly tutorials that you're not going to want to miss and I would really love it if you joined me. Now as you can see behind me, I have a screen that's blown out on my pool cage and this is not a good time of year to have it blown out we are in the middle of love bug season and if you live in florida you know what i'm talking about it happens a couple times a year and we cannot have a blown out screen during love bug season we live in a place where there's hurricanes and strong winds from time to time so this is bound to happen and today I'm going to show you how to repair this yourself. Yes, you can do it. And I, we're going to do it with ooh, bugs. Now having a blown out screen is not good. One of the main reasons that we have a pool cage is to keep the bugs and critters and all of that out. So we need to repair this with the help of some handy tools that I'm going to share with you that you may or may not find at your local home improvement stores. So if you want to get some of these really awesome tools, I'll put the links in the description box below and it will make your life so much easier. So let's get started fixing our screen so we can keep these nasty love bugs that are in season right now out of our pool cage. So before we can get started putting in our brand new screen, we've got to take care of some of the remnants of the old. And we've got to start by pulling out this flat spline. And it is a little bit tricky at first, but once you get it going, it pulls out just fine. So just use a pair of needle nose pliers, grab a hold of it, and then start pulling and it should come out. This is our workout for the day, right? <laughs> There we go. So it likes to stick in there good and that's a good thing, you know, because once you put in your new screen, you want it to stay put, but pulling it out, you can do it. And make sure you pull out all of the old screening that was underneath as well. Once you get it out, you should be able to pull it out, no problem. Ta-da! We're ready to start hanging our screen and I've got some magic tools to make your life so much easier. I'll put it in the description box below, but honestly, it doesn't look like much, but it is gonna make hanging our screen so much easier, so much better and lots faster. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start up on this right hand corner here and I'm on a ladder, so you wanna be careful. Hang it and overlap it a little bit. And we're gonna start by hanging it on this right hand corner here. Try to make it as level as you can in that corner. And then we are going to use these handy clips to hold this right in place. So I've seen people use tape with this, but with how heavy this mesh screening is, I cannot imagine that that is very sturdy. So this is definitely what you're gonna want to use. You just shove it right in where the spline is gonna eventually go. And I'm gonna get a couple of them in here to hold that into place right there. And so that's pretty good. Now we're gonna go to the opposite corner and we're gonna make sure this top is nice and secure. Okay, so we're gonna take our screen and pull it over here, make sure it's nice and level. So we're gonna put our little clip in place in this corner and see how nice that holds that. You don't have to worry about the tape coming undone and we're just going to put one in the middle and then another one right here okay so our top's pretty secure okay so now we are going to do the bottom just like we did the top and i wanted you to see what these clips looked like 
So they don't look like a whole lot, but they make your life so much easier when you're changing out a screen. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure we pull it kind of taut and we start at the um, corner here and then we're gonna put the clip right where you put the spline and push it in and then fold it down and that just holds it nice and tight. So we'll just do that across the bottom now and then we'll move to the sides. Shove it right in where the spline's supposed to go, fold it down and there you go. And then we'll go into the middle, kind of pull it down, shove it in, fold. And we're gonna just do that all the way around. This is gonna make it so much easier. Just trust me, this is awesome. You just wanna make sure as you do this to make sure that you keep it pretty tight because this is what it's gonna be when you finish. You don't want any loose areas or it's just gonna weaken the integrity of the screen. We've got all our clips up and it should be essentially tight in how you want it to be when it's finished. Um, if you find that there are some areas that are uh, that are that you're not happy with, you can just, like if they're not tight enough, just undo the clip and pull it a little tighter and redo the clip. Just make sure that it's basically how you want it to look before you add your spline and we're there. You're gonna need a spline tool and I'll show you how to use this in just a second. You're gonna need a utility knife. This one, this spline tool that I have actually has like a knife on it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that or not, um, but it is there for your use and that makes it handy. And then in my case, I'm gonna be using some flat spline and that's what we're, we use here in Florida for the pool cages. So we are gonna start installing our spline and I've removed the, one of the clips already. And what we do is we take our spline tool and we kind of push in the area that we're gonna be installing our spline in first and get it grooved into place. And then we take it, push it in with our spline tool. It kind of takes a little muscle putting it in at first, but once we get started, it should be much easier. Yep, that's going in just fine. And we'll do this all the way around and I'll give you some close-up shots. All right, so I got the spline in up there. And now I'm gonna show you how to do it down here so you can get a little bit closer shot. I have to be honest with you, I am breaking a sweat, but it's probably because it's a little humid out here. So it's Florida and it's pretty humid right now. I've never been known for my physical strength. In fact, I'm pretty much the wimpiest person you know, but I am doing this all by myself and I'm just wondering, all of you out there, is this something that you would attempt to do to save a lot of money because I'm being attacked by red ants. Ah, they hurt. Okay, the things I do to make a video for you. All right. <laughs> So we're gonna do the same thing as up there and we are just gonna take our spline tool, run it in the channel right here to kind of create that indentation that we need. Then we're gonna take our spline and our spline tool and just, I've gotta put a little weight into it. For me, getting it started is the hardest part. So you kind of put it in at a 45 degree angle and then you take the spline tool and just kind of push it into place. Time out, I gotta kill some ants. This is what it should look like after you install your spline correctly. I wanted to show you how I'm finishing this off because the screen is fully installed, the spline's in there nice and secure and now all we need to do is trim off the excess screening. So I'm just taking a utility knife and running it really close up against the edge. Trying to be careful to avoid scratching your metal cage, but you just take it off like that and we're done, that's it. My screen's installed. It's already blocking out the, some of those pesky bugs. I am no worse for wear other than several fire ant bites on my feet and legs. If you have a good fire ant spray, I would appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section below. 
but I would have never in a million years had such an easy time without these clips. I, I wouldn't even attempt to do this project without buying these clips, so you must get these if you want your project to go smoothly and turn out nice and tight. This is definitely something you can do it yourself on and save yourself a ton of money. If you liked this project and learned something, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below and also consider subscribing to my channel. If you like to learn things about DIY, home improvement, all things home related, then consider subscribing to my channel below, turning the notifications on because I would hate for you to miss a thing and I've got a lot of fun stuff coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time.